Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing another fragrance for you guys. Surprise, surprise. It's going to be from the Armani Privé line and it's going to be Rose Alexandrie. Now this, you guys know, I've talked about it endlessly on my channel. I absolutely love this rose fragrance, but I kind of wanted to go a little bit more in depth about the notes in it, how it wears, uh, because this is, although a very safe rose fragrance, it is a little bit different, and the name can be a little bit, um, can catch you off your guard, because it's not a true rose fragrance. Um, so I wanted to get into that, to the note breakdowns, how it wears on the skin, and things like that. So if you wanted to know a little bit more about Rose Alexandri, then keep watching. Okay, Rose Alexandri is probably one of my most favorite rose fragrances ever. It is one of the fragrances that made me fall in love with the Privé line from Armani. It is one of my favorite exclusive lines from a designer brand. I just love every single fragrance from them. I'm slowly collecting them all. <laughs> Got about five. I really want Iris Celadon and all of them. All of them. <laughs> but this one was the first one that I actually ever purchased from them. Um, this one and then next was Rose de, uh, Rose de Araby, which is one of my ride or die, cannot live without fragrances. I'll get into that into a future video. But this is um, just a very fresh rose. It's The, the notes, notes in this are bergamot, mandarin, yellow mimosa, neroli, and of course rose. It's a very bright scent. This is very reminiscent to me of a garden, of a garden of roses. You go outside in the sunshine, you walk past all these rose bushes, and you get this beautiful, just kind of like almost wet, fragrant rose. I love this one so much. I wear it all the time, you guys. Adore it, adore it, adore it. Um, but I did kind of want to get into the longevity of the fragrance, the projection of this fragrance, and a lot of people are kind of confused by the fact that it has rose in the name, but it's not a crazy rose fragrance. What I've noticed with this fragrance on my skin is it pulls very heavy on the rose, but a lot of other people that I've noticed, including other people that I've spritzed this on, it tends to pull um, a very nice balance between all of the fragrances which are Neroli, Mimosa, Bergamot, Mandarin, a lot of citrus fragrances. And on my skin, those balance out really well and it makes the rose kind of stand out and become a little bit more wet and a little bit more of a sunshiny garden rose. But on other people, the rose is almost outshined by the other notes. So I've noticed, and I did a lot of research on this, um, because when I first started purchasing fragrances, specifically, um, more expensive fragrances, and this is definitely not the most expensive bottle of perfume I have, but when I started purchasing more expensive bottles of perfume, this is one of the ones that kind of like opened that doorway, opened that endless pit. <laughs> um, I did a lot of research and I noticed a lot of people were complaining that it smelled mostly like orange blossom. And I had worn it on my skin, I had had a sample of it, and I didn't get any orange blossom when I was wondering is there something wrong with my skin? Is there something wrong with how I'm wearing this? You know, is this pulling differently on my skin than it does on everybody else? And I've noticed on other people who wear this, you get predominantly the rose, but there is a nice balance of everything. So the reason why I said that the name kind of confuses people is because when you think of Rose Alexandri, I think of like an old garden from like thousands of years ago filled with roses that's overgrown and then like an explorer is like you know like um an anthropologist or an archaeologist is like going through these ruins and they stumble across this overgrown ancient garden that's just overrun with roses and sunshine and everything's just wet and damp that's what this fragrance makes me feel like and that's kind of like what the name makes me feel like too um no it's a silly story but it's true um, and so, like, I can understand where people see rose and not getting rose. <laughs> it's kind of like a lot of people don't quite understand how Lil Labo names their fragrances, and so they see rose or patchouli, and then they smell it, and they're like, this doesn't smell right, because it's a different um, way that they name it and have the ingredients and the predominant ingredient, blah, blah, blah. We all know about Lil Labo. If you don't, I'll get into that in another video. 
But with Rose Alexandri, you think it's going to be like a rose garden. It's going to be a celebration of rose, but it's actually not. It's actually a beautiful blend of a variety of different notes and ingredients that help elevate the rose. But if you're one of those people where the rose doesn't pull too hard on your skin, you're still getting a beautiful fragrance. It's very fresh, it's very citrusy, it's very light, it's very easy to wear pretty much wherever. It's a very versatile, safe fragrance. I would also say out of most of the Privé line, this is probably one of the more youthful fragrances. Some of the other ones are a little bit more androgynous, unisex. Some of the other ones are a little bit more, um, you could wear anywhere, anytime, but they might seem to be a little bit more mature. And you guys know I love mature fragrances. I think that there is a beauty and a complexity to those fragrances that a lot of people don't understand. And that makes me sad because there's just something like breathtaking about that. This is a very easy to understand fragrance, especially from the Armani Privé line. It is very simple, it is very easy, it's very refreshing and bright. Um, but at the same time, you get that wet rose garden, which I really love. And when I decided to do this review, you guys know I love this fragrance. So I'm gonna kind of, I wanted to talk to you about the fragrance and then also give you the longevity and sillage because I didn't want you guys to say, this is one of my favorite roses ever of all time, but it's not a true, true rose. It has a r more rose on me than it does on a lot of other people. And again, I've gotten that from reviews and I've gotten that from firsthand experience. But generally, it is a beautiful interpretation of what somebody might think a rose garden might be or an outdoor rose bush or you come across a rose in the wild. <laughs> Uh, because there's going to be a lot of other elements that's going to be part of it too. There might be other fruit trees around or there might be something in the air that's a little bit refreshing and crisp. Something about this fragrance too, it's very crisp. It's kind of like a wet garden rose, but it's also very bright and citrusy um, and crisp. And it's just a really, it's a pleasure to wear. I think this is one of those rose fragrances that you can pretty much wear safely anywhere. Sometimes with rose fragrances, it can come off too heavy, it can come off too sweet, it can come off too jammy, too soapy. And I usually try to shy away from those if I'm going to be at a place where I know I'm going to be in close proximity to people that maybe don't appreciate fragrances, like work or school. Um, but this is one of those fragrances that I think would be very safe to wear just about anywhere. It's a very versatile fragrance. But do understand it's not a true rose fragrance. You're not going to be getting this fragrance and you're not going to be experiencing the most beautiful rose fragrance ever. It's just a beautiful fragrance that just happens to have a beautiful balance of rose and other things in it. Overall, I really like this fragrance. Again, it's one of my favorites, but if you're expecting something that is a just a beautiful celebration of rose, this is not it. But if you love the idea of a beautiful mix of citrus and a crispness and a coolness with a beautiful wet garden rose, I think this would be a fantastic fragrance for you to try out. I love it. But let's get into the projection and the longevity. The projection of this fragrance is actually pretty decent without being overpowering. The aura or the scent cloud of this fragrance isn't going to be so stifling where it's going to choke people or suffocate people that are next to you. But it does go past arm's length for me, especially if I go above four spritz spritzes. This one I can overspray. I like to spray this one at least six times on my skin. It just makes me feel really happy. But even when I do like two to four spritzes, I get about arm's length and it's a really nice, pleasant experience. People are going to come up to you. They're going to compliment you. I get a lot of compliments when I wear this fragrance because it's something that they can easily understand and enjoy. <clears throat> That being said, the longevity on this fragrance isn't too spectacular. With four to six spritzes, I get, if I'm lucky, depending on the environment, four hours. Now, you guys know I look for at least four to six hours. It's just purely based on where I live. A lot of you guys are like, six hours? That's nothing. I live in a very hot, humid, muggy, soupy environment, and I just, it just, Fragrances do not even like the crazy beast mode ones that you guys talk about. One or two fragrances last longer than that, and I am always in shock. So I look for hopefully six to eight hours, but I generally expect at least four to six. 
This falls into the four to six category, but it's on the lower end. It's about four hours. So this is something I would have to, and I have reapplied throughout the day if I wanted to wear this as my fragrance for the morning and the evening. It's also a really nice light fragrance and it's easy to transition from one to the other. So say I wore this one in the morning and I wanted to wear, say, Rose de Araby at night or something a little bit more heavy on the citrus, this blends really well with other fragrances. So you can also layer this one as well. It's a fantastic fragrance to wear with other rose fragrances that might be too jammy that maybe you want to brighten up a little bit. I particularly like to layer this one with a uh, calligraphy rose from Aramis. I think it's really, really nice. And actually, if I wanted to have a little bit more rose, but I still want it to be daytime appropriate, Rose is just a Chloe layers really nicely with this one as well. But longevity, again, is about four hours just borderline four hours and that's where I know other people can perceive it um, I don't tend to get nose blind from fragrances that's something I kind of wanted to get into in another video but generally when it comes down to longevity it's when I can't smell it anymore on my skin whatsoever it's gone I can put my nose like this and not smell it I could practically dig my nose into my flesh not smell it <laughs> it's gone so this one tends to disappear around the four hour mark do wish it lasted longer but I do definitely reapply it but overall it does fit into the six to four hour mark so I will give it that but I do wish it performed better overall rose <laughs> I was going to say Rose Alexandri. Rose Alexandri is a beautiful rose fragrance. It's very fresh, very crisp, very easy to wear, youthful and versatile. I would definitely recommend sampling it, and it's one of the more inexpensive fragrances from the Armani Privé line. I think if you wanted to have a nice introductory fragrance to some of the more exclusive lines from designer fragrances, I know that those can get very expensive. This might be a great one to check out. The juice, I think, is a beautiful quality juice. I love wearing this. It makes me so happy. And this is one of my favorite rose fragrances ever. So generally, overall, this is an A-plus uh, fragrance. But part of this review was also talking about the fragrance itself. And this is not a true rose fragrance. This isn't a celebration of rose. This is a beautiful mix of citrus and floral and rose to come together to create something very crisp and youthful and bright. So if that's the kind of fragrance that you guys are interested, definitely give this a shot because it's one of my favorites. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like my fragrance reviews, remember to give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue doing videos like this. And also don't forget to subscribe because it's free and I'm free and I put out new videos every Monday through Friday and sometimes on the weekends as well. So I'll always have something for you to watch. In any case, I hope you guys are all happy and healthy and have a great day, month, year, whatever. And I'll see you next time.